Hello, Ori James here, and welcome to I'm another city. one of my Let's Plays. Obviously, as you can probably tell from this cutscene, if you've played this sort of game before, I am playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Got this game in a good deal from Steam about a few years ago, or maybe not that long ago, in about, I don't know, £15 deal for the entire like Grand Theft Auto series. Well, of course, apart from GTA V, since it's not released yet. But up to date, excluding the Liberty City and Vice City stories, I have all the GTA games, including the versions for Mac, which I totally don't need. Anyway, one thing with this game that might be a bit of a problem is the Y-axis. You know, for the silly people that don't know what I'm talking about, it's when you aim up and down. What, what's the problem with it you may be wondering? Well if you've actually tried Vice City on the PC version you might notice a sensitivity issue in that area regardless if you've got your controller set up for well mouse movement or if you actually play it with a mouse there's still a problem there anyway. Either way I'm gonna attempt to play this game despite the issue because I just can't seem to get it fixed. Uh, and going hey. on to the topic hey, of hey. having controller set up, well, uh, yeah, I spent about 20 speed. minutes hey. setting up this now, silly 360 fire, controller with the correct very, keys. Uh, keen to start a business I can't really so, remember any of these missions well, we well should, uh, from going back, I don't know, 5, 6 off, years ago, is, whenever you know, this game was released, but the only thing I remember of this was okay, the golfing so level, okay. would you believe it? I remember you had to do something on a golfing level, I think it was kill someone. That is very important. Either way, ever since I've started this game up again, just to configure the controls, all I've gotten as far as is to just like, okay, skipping all these the cutscenes and just right, like, mess the about they in the free Rome the city of Vice City. Right. Okay. And now that that's sorted out, I haven't really done any missions, because I don't particularly want to... That guy, his head is like a turtle. Right, um... Eh, you know what? I've already got the control set up, so that's all that matters. I haven't done any missions after that, so and after these cutscenes are finished, or future cutscenes, I promise you that I just won't talk through, because I'm pretty sure you're kind of getting pissed off of me nattering on while you have to read the subtitles and concentrate what's happening in this cutscene. Like three people shooting at your little group and just got killed for trading drugs for money. Mm. Spoiler alert! Okay, maybe not so much a spoiler since it is the introduction. And the people that aren't exactly important. Yeah, we'll just start sorting this mess out tomorrow. Okay, so, um, yeah. Oh yeah, if you think this is how Tommy Vassetti actually looks... Okay, I forgot this ain't freaking PS2 version, I can't rotate. But, um, wait, number pad? Would that let you rotate? Ah, there you go, I suppose that works. Just, yeah. This isn't exactly... This is the only thing I suppose you can say is close to a mod, is the fact that I've changed his custom skin. Because when I was taking in the options, I totally didn't expect for that to happen. Oh yeah, and you might hear a lot of rock music in this game from when I'm driving because V-Rock is completely my favourite station, but I might tune over to Rave 109 or other radio stations if it was really that important to you. All bridges and some roads in the Vice City metropolitan area have been closed because of a severe weather warning. Meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Hermione, which has devastated five Caribbean islands and is heading for Vice City. More updates soon. More updates soon, huh? Okay. So let's jump out and go over there. Into Ocean View with the cassette tape. Now, considering this is, pre this is barely the start of the game, I'm not going to bother saving for at least a few missions. By a few missions, I mean when I actually have to drive around and fight and crap like that. Because otherwise you'd see me for 90% of this game saving as I used to. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know, you're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. 
I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Wow. Oh, anyway, if I'm not mistaken, there's a hidden package around here. Or not. Because if there's anything I remember is... Well, at least I was pretty sure in this building there was a hidden package. Whether there is a hidden easter egg going back to GTA 3 to do with Claude, I believe his name is. If that's even how you pronounce it. It's hard to believe that about six or however many years ago it was that these graphics were actually very good. For its time, anyway. Look back at it now and all you can say is it's really shit. <laughs> okay, maybe not that bad. But still. Okay, so let's head back out and actually get a couple missions going on, shall we? But yeah, only thing that's changed about this game is the fact I've changed Tommy Vercetti's costume from his normal looks, which you can probably find just about anywhere else out there on those other playthroughs, which I've not actually watched or even checked to see if any exist, but I'm pretty sure that pretty sure there are a few that do exist or playthroughs. I say a few, probably hundreds. But I'm not really a sort of person who actually sits down and watches Let's Plays. Well, say for Game Grumps, Dragon Zero, and a few others that are actually pretty decent. Maybe Rooster Teeth on occasions. Anyway, enough advertising. Cutscene. The party. Go get some sleep, he said. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are going to come down here and rip my head off. It's ri ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we going to do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You're going to find out who took our cocaine and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite, of course I have an invite, but there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No way, I not told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer at strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here, stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. You'll see, Ken Rosenberg has a nice Who's office. I think he is. Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. <laughs> I completely forgot you have him talking after those cutscenes. They're fucking brilliant. Why can't we get that in more of these games? Whoops. This ain't a racing game. Gotta stop holding the right trigger. Man, I know it's never gonna happen because it's Rockstar, but I pray to... well... Let's reiterate. I hope Rockstar makes a HD collection of GTA 3 and Vice City. Or Vice City and San Andreas, considering they've already got their new reinterpretation of, like, Liberty City. 
so I don't think GTA 3 is coming back. I'll be honest with you though, the Liberty City that we have in GTA 4, even though it's a nice city, it's just not Liberty City for me. I wish it was like a different like name for that city because I prefer GTA 3's Liberty City. Nice bike. Harley Davidson. I like his style. No, bike. Yep, bike. Yeah, I think this is about the only game where if you actually, like, attack certain pedestrians that are running away from cops, you get a good citizen bonus. I might show you later on, or I might actually do it completely by accident, or for the hell of it. Man, my driving sucks. Anyway, let's try and turn this corner, eh? Oh yeah, that's the handbrake button. Sweet. Okay, peer to the party. One sheet. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Versetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our congressman, Alex Shrub, with rising silicone star, Candy Sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with... Love face. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong? In Thailand. Let me tell you. It does not involve a paddle, <laughs> if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Fish Steve crawl Scott. The of passion with the Nipho invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, no, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, then another day. amigo. How do we find you? <coughs> Our business is very tried. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go Let's get there. out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. When I was young, I always took Mr. Coke as something else. No, seriously, I thought we were on about, like, Pepsi nice or Coca-Cola. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. The gods while sleeping. Except Christ, do I see how much I miss this game. Now I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this, but GTA Vice City that has to be my most favorite map. It's definitely not the biggest out of GTA 3, this and well, San Andreas. But I don't know, it's something about this map that I just really enjoy. I suppose it's because it's also small and controlled, so it's like you know where you're going without need of a map all the time. <laughs> well, San Andreas, you're constantly looking at your map. 
sure you will. BJ's fit for football. I'll take it. If I'm not mistaken, this is also the game where in the end, if you're unlucky, and me, unlucky. I'm not sure what point I'm trying to make. Um, I think this is also the only game up until all the rest where um, you can actually get infinite ammo by continuously purchasing ammo for a certain weapon all the time. I'm not sure if San Andreas allows you to do that as well. No Grand Theft Auto mm, 4 wouldn't allow it. In fact, I'll be honest, I haven't even tried it on GTA 4. Might, but I'm not like holding to anything. Ah, well I hope you're having a good time because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Kent Paul, okay. Can be arranged. I'm not talking to you, Buzzy. By Christ, I swear I am a terrible, terrible driver. Just so you know, I never have actually completed Vice C. I mean, I've completed the story, but I never found all the packages or robbed every single store. All I know is, it's not a good idea to rob the gun stores. Bad mistake. But then again, at the time, I did use cheat codes as well. And that's something I'm not going to be using this time around, because I've grown up from that young age that I used to be. So, cheat codes are a thing of the past. Let's do this legit, eh? Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know what I am? Looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. Get lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. What is a comedian? Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Ooh. Yeah, that's right, go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that Yeah, that's definitely British. Freaking chavs from like the London area, probably. Then again, if you're a um, British person, like, watching this, then you'd probably find that that guy could be from anywhere in England. Because we all sound the same. Okay, maybe not me so much. I just sound American because about every single non-American person has said that so far. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Okay, then. We got cell phone. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's backs. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. 
Follow me. Ooh, ooh, I have a pistol. This way. Okay, let's see. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shops a couple of blocks away. Whoa. At least I'm still facing the right way. But Christ, I know when I used to steer like a pro on this game. Suddenly I play for a PC version and I'm shit. I'm pretty sure I've said that about three or four times by now. But you can even tell because of how terrible. The sensitivity on this game is bad as heck. In fact, when I was setting up the controls, I accidentally even hit almost every police car I found. Would you believe it? I think I've, because I've had a little bit of practice now, I'm slowly, slowly getting used to it. Okay, so let's purchase a gun, shall we? With the limited money I have, like $100. All those controls up there are just useless to me, I swear. Okay, if you saw that, that was embarrassing. I should really kill notifications on Steam in the future. Okay, let's see, is there anything I can get with $100 and only a pistol? Screw it. Um, okay. Yeah, controls are useless to me, so every time it's prompts me to press a button, it's like, um, what is that on the f eh, well, 360 controller? It'd be much easier if it was at least mapped to show PS2 controls. But the last thing I want to do is really get a PS2 emulator just to... Oh. Just to play this. I don't think there's even a PS2 emulator out there. But, oh well, either way. I really can't be bothered to try and start looking for that just to make a let's play. In fact, no matter, I'd end up playing something else. Like Sideways, which will be planned in the future. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tom. He'll be watching me <laughs> after I busted up his vehicle like that. Ooh, now I've got enough for an SMG. As he might record back in the shop. Um, let's see. Oh, how good. I freaking set my key so that way every time I lean I also change a weapon. It was worth a try. At least he's given me that much to go by. In fact, let's just do like one more mission. What have I got to lose at the moment? Get it right here. Then we'll call it a save and probably end this. Ooh! <laughs> ran over every single person in the alley. And again, this is a pretty wide car. And that was a long time to use the handbrake. That was just me interested in seeing how well it would turn with one. But at that speed, that was a bad idea. Okay, so let's see. Another mission with Ken, I believe. Or as they call it, L for lawyer. Ah, oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you! Oh, jeez! Nah. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor! You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, 
It's either that or Pirelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? Because really, dumb Florida moron. <laughs> There'd be a chance where he just like walk outside the office and someone gets ran over. Really. Okay, um, you know, I'm not gonna run all the way there. Let's grab a vehicle. <laughs> East side. Okay. I forgot. Just double tap sprint and you just like sprint forever. Only in lighter games do they actually make it into Super Sprint and make you tired anyway, which annoys me that they thought about it and fixed it. Oh well. Okay, so we got two vehicles to pretty much wreck on. But I'm gonna end up wrecking my own vehicle at this point. If I can't drive from point A to point B safely. You know what, we're gonna just cut off here for commercials. See you in a moment. And we're back. So, um, yeah, I'm still heading towards my desk. Oh, wait, nope, we're here. At this point, I might as well destroy my own vehicle and steal theirs, because that's what's going to come down to in a moment. Let's see, smash up the juror's car, huh? Okay, that's the back busted. This is going to be like Pimp My Ride, just the demotivated version. If only I had a chainsaw, I believe that wrecks cars even faster than this. There we go. I can't believe this is happening! You know he's not guilty. Hmm. <laughs> You know he's not guilty. <laughs> what a way to put it. Okay, to the other place. Via the Malibu. That would have been so awesome if I actually wanted to do that silly U-turn. But because I didn't, that was a complete foul on my part. Anyway, to the next car. Wait, what is this crap radio station? V Rock. That's what we want. Ah, that's love fest. Change it. VCPR does it. Florida does not want you. Please die somewhere else. What's wrong with Nevada or Kansas? Well, Pastor Richard is building my salvation statue. Uh, past the witches. It seems scar crime, fashion crime, Let's drugs, see. everything is on the right. Absolutely. Ah, oh, I wasn't quite with you tonight, I was after, but bugger it. Poor, but they were... I could fail this mission right now just for laughs with us by killing that guy with my hammer, but nah. Don't think he particularly wants to watch me. Whoa. Get off me. Get off me. Stupid rin screen. <laughs> you guys who actually own cars ever had that happen to you where your windscreen falls on top of you and you just kind of get stuck in it like someone put a picture frame right over you? Because if you do then please send us a pic. That would be just so hilarious. Okay. Almost there. 
you know, I should probably just focus my hammer punching on the engine. I'm actually making it look like I'm breaking the like car looks better. Looks like bullets have gone for it. Ooh shit. Remember, guilty is a dirty word. <laughs> I don't exactly mean to blow up that car, but Hey, I suppose I did get the point across. I know I said that this would be my final mission, but you know what? Bugger it. To the lawyers! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get back into the habit of driving on the sensitivity. Oh, um, let's see. Hey, Tommy, it's Sonny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. What a dick. Okay, Wyatt. Without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any grease balls giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. The balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. <laughs> ah, poor Tommy. I can't believe I've only just realized that um, Tommy doesn't wear the uniform that I've given him in cutscenes. He wears his default outfit. Your father is a great doesn't bother me too much, but it would have been nice to see it in the cutscenes as well. If I'm not mistaken, some skins actually allow that. But unfortunately, I've got to go back with Raphael's outfit, wherever it is. Overalls. Or oh, spandex. Spandex, is that like some sort of like. No, I don't think it's actually for periods. Okay, so um, I'm wearing a spandex outfit and I'm going to what may look like be the construction site. If they actually said that in the cutscene, then I was really not paying attention. My bad. Oh crap. I really don't need this. No, please, don't pull me over, I'm sorry. Okay, drive, 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 drive. Oh, oh shit. I'm not gonna have a car this way. I busted up my car the same way I busted up the Jura's cars. By God. <laughs> How am I gonna survive the rest of this game? Only one way to find out. Watch part two, which has not been uploaded yet. Spandex brass. Okay. So what's I'm supposed to do here? Start fighting with at least four workers to get. Oh, okay, and should be fun. Punch. Tag. There we go. Okay, so let's see about... Ooh, shit.
Oh, I don't? Really? My god, that's embarrassing. Bit late to get the heart. You'll lose weapons and blah blah, you take some cash for patching up. Okay. So let's try and do that again, shall we? This time without cocking up completely, huh? Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Ooh, assassin crests. Freaking love them. Okay, so I'm gonna skip this cutscene this time because you guys already seen it. You don't really want to watch it again, do you? Um, I suppose that vehicle is the closest thing we've got to anything at the moment. Okay, so let's go to Raphael's. Ooh, she had it coming. She ran under my vehicle. She was gonna get run over. It was totally not my fuck. Ooh. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. First vehicle I get and I'm almost dead. Okay, so I'm out of that explosion, so if I'm not almost dead, I'm still at full health, thankfully. Okay, take two with a different car. Can this car, like, reverse any slower? Okay. Whoa. Don't know why... Whoa, is... Really? This sensitivity that's making it go very... straight to the right? That bad? Okay, Raphael's... Okay, I've already seen this. Can I skip? Yeah, it's like a cutscene. That's good. Don't particularly need to keep seeing that sort of scene. Okay, so I've got $591. What do we take? Like nine dollars off me and all my weapons. Yeah. I really wish I knew how to target on this because manual targeting is not good. Hello, welcome. I'll have to figure it out in a moment. I has to. Ooh, oops. Be away. Because manual aiming is just like freaking. Red Dead Redemption amounts of expert mode or expert targeting. Okay, so I'm back here again. Fingers crossed I do it right this time. Oh sweet, I get shot straight away. getting my ass handed to me. Wait, is there anything around the back here? Okay, wasn't what I was after, but that works, I guess. Then I can ooh shit. Is there anywhere I can target these clowns? Has to be a way. Oh, I can jump backwards. I've never done that before. Oh, please drop a weapon or something. And again, I suppose they are just normal workers. They won't drop anything. The fact that we have a vehicle is annoying. Okay, you know what? I think I'll run around the other side and quickly run to a weapon store. I wasn't just gonna die again. Please don't tell me I'll fail this because I'm walking out. It better allow me to just go and get another weapon. Okay, so um, I need to familiarize myself with the map, so... Let's see. Gun store. All the way south. Lovely. You're putting the blinders of society on. We're so let's quickly same. drive down I south, grab a weapon, and get back up. No, not of them. And here I am. 
because I'm a pussy, I think I'll also buy some armor. Let's stick her with a pistol. I think I want to reserve my money at the moment. <laughs> You're probably wondering, how did I get here so quickly? Want to know how? Magic. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, time to make it all very... Ooh. Terrible. Very, very terrible. Anyway, using that very same magic, let's get there immediately. Magic. <laughs> Isn't magic great? Magic really exists in this game. Okay. So, let's see. Holy crap. So, let's see. Okay, got one vehicle done. Come on, here we go. That's... Not all of them destroyed? Oh, wait, please tell me if there's a red barrel around this side. I really don't fancy wasting ammo. There isn't. Oh wait, can I just get in this one then? Okay, you know what? I know what to do with this. Just you wait. You know what I'm going to save, so I may as well go up that way. You can already probably guess what I'm going to do with this vehicle. Oh wait, oh I can just like, do it here. Ain't I smart. Okay, let's just like get a ride there. I don't particularly like using scooters, but hell with it. It's a vehicle. It'll get me there faster. Whoa! Than walking. I knew armor would be useful. But shit, I need help. Uh. Okay. Here I am. Ocean View Hotel. Oh. Hello, this is Dog. Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with you, Mrs. Steele. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat, huh? Okay? Good day, sir. I guess next episode we see Juan Garcia Cortez in part two. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you all next time.